Okay, so as you guys saw, I went ahead and I ground up this, what I'm calling the Grim Reaper's short sword. So I did the profile grind and I also ground the back just to straighten it all out. Um, this is in preparation for what I'm gonna do now, which is forging the, the handle. Right now, I think a full tang with scales would look very good. So that's what I'm gonna do. All finished up, I think this thing will be really nice. It's super thin. You can see the blade is super thin. It's like, it's like a 16th, maybe a little more. And the spine is very thick. This is a very stout blade, but I'm sure it's gonna cut well up until it reaches the spine. I also did the point up here. That's all in preparation for the handle, which I'm about to do right now. I'm about to use my 100 pound little giant. And every time I use the hammer, I oil it. What I have here is just gear oil out of this can it appears so I have it in this can and I'm just gonna put it on all the little joints where it's supposed to go put this down it has um, these points here these little drilled out sections where the oil is supposed to go I also put it out on the ends just because you know it's better to be safe with this sort of stuff Come around this way. It's better to be safe over here. There's a second part up here to do. The back as well needs to be oiled. Usually this is filled up. Now that the power hammer is oiled up, I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, this hammer works really well. Right. So I got my uh, gloves on this is nice and hot I'm gonna come over and force this out I'm going gently here a hack here to take off the extra material. It's nice and neat. It cuts it off. I'm just going to clean up this transition here. So I forced the tang as far as I'm going to using my hand hammer. I'm just gonna go back to my power hammer and smooth it all out with the ladder. Yeah, that's just to make the surface all nice and smooth and neat. So that's where we are. That's gonna turn into the full tang for the short sword here. I think that's gonna look all right. I'm just looking at it right here, see if I like it. I think I'll put a little bit more curve right here. That'll look better.
think I like that. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. The rest is to trim the profile, the grinding, all the cold work. So thanks for following me along while I forge out the handle and profile this Grim Reaper's short sword. Remember if you like the video leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think so far. I'm thinking since this looks so much like a, a Turkish yatagan to make a yatagan type handle with the flare out here and sort of soft handle out here. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm looking forward to finishing this one up. Thank you and have a good day.